you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Family Guy. Hmm. Okay. Family Guy. Yeah. What we got? We have another compilation of cutaways. Okay. The Kings of Cutaways. They are. You ready? Yeah. I'll try anything, Quagmire, because I actually like running that cookie shop. <clears throat> Way better than that job I had telemarketing the buttholes. Hello? Sorry, wrong number. Hello? Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> and how are you today, sir? <laughs> These cookies are amazing. They're even tastier than Connie Britton's hair. Oh, man. Stupid. What's that? Mm. God, your hair is delicious. Who are you? I'm the guy who killed your bodyguard. <laughs> I am throwing you the best birthday party ever. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm great at throwing parties. I was in charge of planning Woodstock. All right, guys, here's what I'm thinking. A whole festival of muddy boobs. Well, don't you want to have music? Oh, yeah. It's a good way to get those muddy boobs moving. I just really like spending time with oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, I am going to have to write to somebody about this. Dear Penthouse, I used to think these letters were fake until my taped together soccer ball headed girlfriend fell in my lap. Hey, do you still have a magazine? Uh, I'm glad we got here early. I like to watch the previews. Yeah, and also the friendly warning about theater shootings. Uh, Don't get shot by a bullet. Don't get shot by a bullet. Keep your damn. wits about you. Damn. This place used to be fun. <laughs> Damn. You think you're better than me? Ah, look at you, Brian. Right at home with us dumb guys. You're blending in better than a centipede among millipedes. Well, what should we do today? Let's try on a thousand shoes. Wait a minute. <laughs> you're an imp. <laughs> the right address? It doesn't look like the building from Brian's presentation. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Uh, Never judge a book by its cover. Or a movie. No! Well, that's really nice of you, Stewie. And he's my brother. We've got to stick together like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, mm. who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? <laughs> my dad was a military man, so he, he wasn't around much. And my mom, uh. let's just say she was a little promiscuous. In fact, I think my problem started the day I was born. Uh, uh. Uh. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Oh, my Could God. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? Oh, my God! Born nine times that day. Oh! All right, according to Cleveland, it's also healthy for couples to have shared activities. So, yeah, since you yeah. like golf, uh, I thought we could play around. So, so what do I do? Just aim for the pond? No, you're not supposed to hit it into the water. But you hit it into the water. I know I hit it into the water. <laughs> well, why do they even have water if you're not supposed to hit it there? Because it's fun! We're having fun! <laughs> Look, it went further than your ball. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. You can help me with some chores. But uh, one slip up. And you'll be deader than the first man to die in the Battle of the Boyne. Normally, when we do those, there's, there's like a joke. I'm not your client. <laughs> oh, they'll be fine. Yeah. They'll bounce back, just like Humpty Dumpty did after his fall. My God, it's a miracle. <laughs> You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight uh, to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that's the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. <laughs> oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. <laughs> Damn. He's from all of us. <laughs> We now return to another Michael Jordan underwear commercial on a plane for some reason. Does your underwear have tags? Uh, what? Uh, Mr. Jordan, you're gonna have to take your seat and stop asking people about their underwear. <laughs> we now return to Top Chef, Looney Tunes edition. 
Okay, Chef Fudd, I was a little disappointed in you this week. Your dish was just a live rabbit who thought he was taking a bath. But I used carrots and celery. Yes, I saw he was scrubbing his back with a long celery stalk. <laughs> Chef Sylvester, on the other hand, I'm happy to say your supper and succotash was absolutely delicious. Thanks. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I am not living like this. You think Morgan Fairchild has a fart hole in her house? Morgan, the cocoa van is divine. But so rich. Will you excuse me? <laughs> but where do our Hollywood farts go? I've heard they're filtered into Tom Sizemore's house. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Morgan. I can't live without my laptop. How else am I supposed to get my degree from the University of Phoenix? Credit card information and submit. And I'm a lawyer. We find the defendant guilty of murder. Sorry. You know, sending him to school wouldn't be the worst idea. He might even enjoy it. I know I had a blast in college. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm supposed to meet the RA for coffee later in the common room, but until then, I'm just gonna walk around with my shower caddy and see what people wrote on their whiteboards. <laughs> Boy. Besides, I gotta keep training. The marathon's in two days. <laughs> I, I'm worried you're losing yourself in all this. Do you remember that phase when you thought you were a pointer dog? Was someone wearing my new high heels? You dick. <laughs> Uh, 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 I need this wolf in case I open a nautical themed restaurant. Come on down to Pete's Crab Shack. We got boat parts on the wall, so you know the crab comes from the ocean. Eat next to a porthole? What? <laughs> oh, I love shopping at Christmas time. Mm. Ugh, more food courts are so depressing. You can always tell which fathers are disappointed in their sons because they eat lunch with their coats still on. How's that food, dum-dum? Too bad eating ain't math, because then I'd have something to be proud of. I want to go live with Mom. I know. So do I. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a great price on it. You know how good I am at making a deal. Uh, All right, I have $50 for the first person with a paperclip and rouge in their purse. Ooh, ooh! Monty! Monty! Paperclip and rouge! Paperclip and rouge! Why do you have rouge? I don't know, it's been in the purse for ages. Why do you have a purse? For the paperclips and rouge, you idiot! <laughs> what are you gonna buy with that $50? Purses and rouge! <laughs> oh, crap, looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry, we just sold our last turkey to that guy. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey! <laughs> Oh, fudge circles. <laughs> Peter, I was at the park with Stewie and someone stole his tricycle. And during like the one second, I was looking down at my phone and not at him. Stupid thief. It's got a vanity plate that won't even apply to him. Hey, you like your reggae watered down and acceptable at a wedding? Hop on. We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. <sighs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? <laughs> I'm sure it was all met in good fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be fun, uh, but it was humiliating. I felt like a premature volcano. I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know... Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. Please don't tell the other islands. <laughs> you know what? We should just go out and start filming. Because I think we're really going to surprise everyone, like Buster Keaton did in his first talking picture. Here we go. I'm moving through the scene, and I slammed the door. Oh no, I slammed it too hard, and the house is gonna squash me. Oh, it turned out that window was there. Pause for laugh and amazement. Never seen, um, never seen Brian like that. Skinny for his marathon. And all, all of his, what, eight of his nipples out. <laughs> oh, what is the music? What is the You look like you, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nigga, bad. Yeah. <laughs> 
And they didn't look strong. Uh, no. <laughs> supposed to be in shape. That didn't look uh, like a Brian in shape. That looked like a Brian. Yeah, skinny Brian. Yeah, yeah I think you've seen him like strung out before. Maybe like really furry and uncut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, that, um... <laughs> What was that? What was it? Uh, what's his name? Brian? <laughs> Not Brian, but um, what's the son's name? I can't think of his son's name. Um, Pete. Uh, Chris. Chris. Yeah, Chris. And <laughs> he wrote the letter to Penthouse. <laughs> oh yeah, because of that dog, man. <laughs> uh, I never knew this would come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Kings of the Cutaways. <laughs> hey, Julia. You saw a fucking um, Quagmire's mom. <laughs> Doctor said, how do you feel? <laughs> said, horny. Push him back in me. <laughs> this was hard to deliver nine times that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. It's playing a lot. <laughs> yeah, it does about Quagmire. <laughs> that does explain a lot about Quagmire. 